Wholeness, beautiful beings, welcome to my channel, Seeds of Silver Tree, and today's topic is about trust, salt, and sugar look the same. Salt and sugar definitely look the same and they taste very different, right? So trusting. Sometimes you are presented with salt and sugar. The universe presents you with salt and sugar. And the universe is like, have at it. And so you don't know which one is which. Which one's going to taste salty and which one's going to taste sweet. And, you know, throughout my life I've realized how important it is to have a little salt and to have a little sugar. And sometimes to avoid both. And, and create your own way. But with that, with trust, just trusting in, in the journey. You know, what's that song that I, I'm hearing? Um, just a spoonful of sugar will make the medicine go down. And sometimes you need that nice big, big spoon of sugar to swallow your pride. And to swallow your ego a little bit. And salt gives that nice little kick into very what would be very bland situations and experiences. But trusting in the whole process. Allowing life actually to surprise you. The element of surprise. Allow the universe to surprise you. There's nothing wrong with asking for whatever you desire. But allow life to surprise you. I might retitle this surprise. <laughs> Element of surprise. Salt and sugar look the same. I've been surprised several times um, in the past several weeks leading up to today and um, dealing with some, some family um, changes in my family and um, on both sides, my mom, my mother's side, my father's side. And, it, and they're good things, like beautiful things that I wouldn't really expect. Um, and, uh, and I'll share maybe if I feel called to. I don't feel called to share now, but it's just, you know, those nice surprises that put a smile on your face and then that, you know, will bring the family closer together. Um, the good surprises really can unify family. And the one, the surprises that taste a little salty can further, um, you know, it could further that void. It could expand that void in the family. So this one was a very sweet surprise, both of them actually. And, um, and so I just, you know, I post this as a reminder, you know, allow allow yourself to be surprised and when you end up taking a spoonful of salt you know sometimes you need a little kick in your life sometimes you need a little something to wake you up right um, I was watching this clip of this you know young infant that I probably was very much under a year old but they weren't like a newborn they look like they're about six, seven, eight months, you know, when they start to transition and tr and the parents will try to, you know, they uh, the parents will allow them to taste lemon, taste sugar, just a little bit to introduce their palate. You know, normal stuff babies should experience. And this baby, the father was holding his, his son and he was introducing him to a popsicle. Just a little bit, you know, a little taste. And it was hilarious. This kid, he took it. He had to, his brain was registering what was happening and the taste, the sweet taste of the cool frozen popsicle. And all of a sudden, he just used what motor skills he had to go after the the popsicle. It was kind of like outside of the wrapper. And the father laughed, you know. And the, it was it was a very precious moment. But um, you know, the the saltiness in life can can kind of knock you off your feet like immediately when you when something's too salty you want to spit it out that's my knee-jerk reaction my mouth begins to salivate and I want to just put and um, 
and it's it's salty food is very hard to to swallow and enjoy and sometimes experiences in our life can be just that it's really hard to process it's really hard to digest it's really hard to to be present with that you just want to get rid of it get rid of that bad taste in the mouth right like that saying oh that person left a bad taste in, in my mouth or that experience left a bad taste in my mouth meaning like there's remnants of unprocessed energy from that experience and so you know with the element of surprise, the gift of surprise, you know, it, it can knock you a little bit. And then you have things that are sweet, right? Um, that are very sweet and, and, and that can also, like, too much sweeten. I am not, I don't have really crave sugar. Only in that time of the month um, really is when my body starts craving carbs and, and glucose. Like, it, because my body's about to, you know that time of the month you know so but typically I I'll, I always veer towards salty spicy things you know um but yeah but sometimes you have that sweetness of life that comes in and you just you swallow it you know and too much of a good thing you can't have too much salt you can't have too much sugar and some people do very well without both without any of it you know um and so, yeah, that's all I really wanted to share is just, you know, how can we process salty experiences that leave a bad taste in our mouth? And how do, or how can we avoid the addictive uh, properties of, of too much sweetness in life? Too much of a good thing is turns out to be a bad thing and that can hurt you. Too much sugar can give you cavities and rot your teeth and increase your blood sugar and then you're diabetic and then they start lopping off your limbs. Yes, I, it's true. I, I see it all the time at the hospital where I currently work right now and, and it's like patients who have diabetes and they don't take good care of it. They don't change their lifestyle drastically because it's a drastic condition. You can go, you know, the um, diabetes is so, that's one thing you, you do not want, I promise you, because it complicates everything. It complicates your healing process after a major surgery. It complicates just your your system, your kidneys can shut down, you, you're in the higher chances of a stroke heart attack like it's it's so too much of a good thing um can really hurt you and there was a quote I I, I bumped into saying that um like a reminder like you were not meant it, all it, it's okay to desire everything all good things in your life you just have to understand that it's not all going to come at once okay the best things and the best experiences the best you know moments in life they come in packages and sometimes yeah you'll it's like blessing after blessing after blessing you know that's rare but it happens but most of the time you know it these beautiful sugary moments in life these sweet moments in life come beautifully packaged and they are you know given to you as a gift and it makes you present because presence a present the present is a gift and so with that balance like you know don't have too much sugar but don't believe that everything in life will be salty from a salty experience allow the universe to surprise you and some surprises yeah they'll kind of like jar you a bit you're not expecting it they come in the form of a blessing or maybe some people believe it's a curse I don't believe in curses I really don't 
because that it, it dwindles down to your own belief system and your own paradigm. And if you allow something ex, uh, that's external to to dominate and to possess your internal world, you're not you. That's a weakness, not a strength. You know. We must experience the sweetness and the saltiness of life. I mean, look at our oceans. The true womb of all creation is the water, right? We are, we're very, this is a water planet. Without water, we're not, we're not able to sustain ourselves. But the oceans are salty. Our saliva is salty, our tears are salty. Usually, you know, there's a saying in the heal in the herb world, the 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 medicinal herbal world, um, herbal magic. The bitter herb heals all. It is the bitter root that heals. The thing that isn't always as pleasant to the taste is the very thing that can help heal the body or he help heal the. Um, the uh, the imbalance in your body. There is a, a medicine that they give patients um, to help with their digestive system, and it's called milk of magnesia. And um, I believe it's I believe it's derived from something herbal, because um, I've heard it before when my mom would you know talk about her herbs and whatnot. Um, but the milk of magnesia helps to regulate your digestive system and but it, it tastes horrible it tastes horrible um, most patients believe that they taste it tastes like chalk right and it leaves a taste a bad taste in their mouth however it helps to regulate their digestive system because of all the other medications synthetic medications that are grown in the lab and created in the lab they're so hard on the system because the patient's going through a crisis right and so they take they ingest these synthetic drugs that help but but the side effects are really harsh on the body and hard on the organs and the systems so it's it, it jacks up their uh, their their ability to digest food properly so either it causes you know these drugs can cause diarrhea and wipe out all the good flora or these drugs you know cause painful constipation and so they must ingest this bitter medication this salty herb or not herb but you know the saltiness to help regulate so with the salty experiences sometimes that that salty experience is the very thing that you need to heal it's the very thing that pushes you or inspires you and I'm a big believer in the um, space of neutrality that space in between the new, the, the new moon and full moon phases of each month the space that, that uh, the eye of a storm. The space of neutrality is not high, it's not low. It is just the all. That's where I always choose to, to be. You know, we can get caught up in the blessings of life and the happiness of life and the joy and the joy and the good times. But then there's also the saltiness of life which is death you can you know endings feel they, they it tastes endings feel sad and and salty and you know there's a lot of regret and and a lot of you know just you know being remorseful and 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 thinking back nostalgic but beginnings can be full of anxiety and excitement and and whatnot even euphoria so that's just a little reminder. Um, I know I'm a little behind on posting this week. I just, I've been out and about. I've been getting in shape. You know, I'm doing my lifting, if you can't tell. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, I'm a small framed person. It's okay. But I'm doing a lot of biking, doing my shtanga. I'm lifting weights. So, you know, being a child-free woman and, and single and just... I'm really wanting to get back in tune with my body so um, and, and hear her voice hear what she has to say and it's just very grounding through these activities 
So yeah, so I just wanted to share that because I, I, you know, I heard this phrase is beautiful. It's like salt and sh and sugar are the same, and it's like yeah, or I'm sorry, salt and sugar look the same, you know. And I will add though that sometimes you just don't know what you're gonna get, so you just have to taste it to know. You have to experience it to know. And because you can sit and waste your time and say, okay, is this salt or is this sugar? Is this sugar or is this salt? Well, what if I ingest the wrong thing? What if I put the salt in, in, in on my, or the sugar on my chicken or the sugar, um, you know, in my stew and the salt on, on my, my, my apple pie? What am I going to do? You know, and sometimes you just have to jump. You just have to leap, have trust, have faith and let the universe surprise you be surprised because whatever's coming your way you can handle you can handle the salt you can handle the, the sugar the sweetness of life and you know don't waste your time trying to you know just don't waste your time trying to figure out which is which at first I was like, before making this video, I was like, oh, well, let me talk about discernment and how one you, you must tune in and figure out which one ta will taste bitter, which one will taste sweet, but that's not how life works. Discernment can only take you so far, I feel like. Sometimes you just don't know. You don't know what you don't know until you know it. And the only way to know it is to taste it. And the only way to taste it is just to choose to encompass the all and have faith and know that whatever outcome comes about, you can handle it. If you couldn't, if you could never handle the hardships and the saltiness of life and the sweetness of life, it wouldn't have never come to you. You would have never, it wouldn't have come to you. You are meant for every moment, whether it's foul experience or or an amazing experience, you are meant to behold that experience and process that experience it was meant for you specifically for you we always look at these celebrities you know oh look how amazing they are wow look at look at they're living their dream you have no freaking clue they look like they're having a sweet life but it could be salty as hell and now in the 2024, the truth of, the, of these industries are finally coming out. For Oh, I'm so happy about that. Um, how they really run and how they really control these people that seem to have it all. Seem to really be enjoying the sweetness of life. Yet they're miserable. Miserable and they're used. So that's another thing. Like, you know... Your salt, your saltiness in your life could be someone's sweetness and their sweetness could be salt to you. And know that there's nothing wrong with either or. Salt isn't good. You actually need sodium. <laughs> you need, you actually need sodium, just not too much. And you also need glucose. You need sugar. Okay. Um, cause without it, you crash and you know, but the thing that, that that's keeps the salt and the sugar that keep people sick are, are, are the um, processed foods. There's nothing wrong with salt. There's nothing wrong with the sugar. It's how it's being manipulated to be addictive to you and, and you know, excessively consuming it, consuming these processed foods, um, GMO foods is causing a lot of suffering. There's nothing wrong with sugar or salt. There isn't. It's just how it's consumed and how it's manipulated into these addictive things that people consume, which, which wreaks havoc on our systems. So, with that, may this message, uh, message find you well and whole and have a blessed, whole, wholesome day. I'll see you next time.